In this video, I show you how to upload audio on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on YouTube and let's get right into this guide. So if you try and upload audio straight onto YouTube by pressing the create button in the top right and then pressing upload video, we'll then try and upload some audio. So I've gone and found the audio which I want to upload to YouTube. So when I go and press open, as you can see, it just goes and says invalid file format. So to get around this is actually quite simple. All you need to do is go and open up a new tab. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how you can go and add just a simple image or just a video to the audio so we can then go and upload to YouTube. It's super easy and it's completely free and online. So all you want to do is go and search for an online video editing software called CapCut. There's quite a few variations of this with different apps on different um, platforms, but just type it in C-A-P-C-U-T. Then make sure you go to your official website, which is capcut.com. Here it is. So go and tap. Then once you're on the website, all you need to do is scroll down and then go and tap edit online like so. And then we're going to go and get the editor load. What you want to do is go and press on blank canvas, just like this, and then go and tap on create, just like so. Now, what we need to do is go and find the audio, which you want to go and upload onto YouTube and go and get it into CapCut. To do that, just go and tap on this section here where it says drag and drop files from your computer. So I've gone and found the audio I want to go and use. So I'm going to go and tap open just like so. And now as you can see, it's now uploading. Once it's finished uploading, it will then go and transcode. And then what you can do is go and hover your mouse over it and go and press this plus button. And then it's going to be added to your timeline. And now we've got a few different options with what you can go and do to go and sort of create a video. So a few different things you could do is, for example, just add some text. You go and add an image or you can even go and add a video. So the simplest option is just to go and add some text. But the great thing about CapCut is, is that yeah, there are stock videos. So if you go over to the left hand side, you can go and tap on stock videos. And then as you can see, there are some here. So you can literally just go and drag these in and start using them. Personally, I'm just gonna keep it simple and use some text. So I'll click on text like so. Then I'll just press on default and click on the plus button like this. And as you can see, it's now appeared here. Now, if we go over to the right hand side of CapCut, we, we can then go and type in what you want it to go and say. So I'm just gonna go and type in podcast episode one, maybe because this could be a podcast, for example. So I'll type it in like so, just like that. Then once you've done that, there are so many things you can go and do. You can go and change the font. So you can go and click on font like so, and then go and choose a font you'd like to go and use. And then you can go and change the format, the color, the styles, and you continue to scroll down. And there are so many other things you can go and edit. So I'm quite happy with how it looks, but now what you want to do is make sure the text of the image just goes all the way through the video. So as you can see, the audio continues to play all through um, to about 30 seconds, but the text actually finishes after like about two or something. So what you want to do is hover your mouse on it and hold it and roll left click on it. Like so and you see this tool and then you can drag it all the way so it ends when the um, sound ends as well and just to make it clear this is very basic and you can go and add images and things like that from your computer you can go and upload them once again by pressing upload local and you could get some on google and use the stock photos as well but for me this is what i want so now that i've finished with it we can now go and get this on youtube so now what we need to do is first to go and export it so go to the top right and go and tap on export and you will need to go and create a free account it's super easy so you can go and press sign up I've already got an account, so I'm gonna log straight in. Then once you've logged in, you'll go and see your profile picture in the top right, and you'll need to go and press export again, like so. And it may take a minute, as you can see, it says project is being saved, so we'll just have to wait. But once it's finished, we'll then go and get this option to go and export it. So what we can go and do is give this an, a file name. So I'm just gonna name this podcast, like so. Uh, and then you can go and choose a resolution, and you can view the advanced settings to go and change the quality, the frame rate, and the format. I'd recommend keeping these pretty standard. Uh, format is MP4, which is fine, that's easy to do. Then you want to go and press export like this. The export length is going to vary depending on how many videos there are and just the length of the video, but it shouldn't take too long. And if you're worried that your export is stuck on 1%, don't worry, mine was, and then it sort of suddenly finished, so it may jump a little bit. And then once it's finished, we'll say your video is ready and we can then go and tap download and the download will then begin onto our computer, just like so. Now we can come back to YouTube and we can then go and press select files or just go and drag it straight in. So I've just gone and selected the video we just downloaded. I'll then press open. And as you can see, it's now uploading and we're basically uploading audio on YouTube. So basically to get audio on YouTube, it has to be a video. So you have to go and add something to the audio uh, to get it on YouTube. But then you can just go and add all the details as you usually would and add some end screens and things like that. And that's it guys. And here is the finished video and audio now on YouTube. I thought I'd quickly show you it. If you're wondering what is on the right hand side, this is a tool uh, I use called TubeBuddy. It's really, really useful for any YouTuber. I'll put a link down below. It's got so many features and yeah, go and check it out. But yeah, guys, if you found this useful, please leave a like. Peace.